An attack initial phases consists of different techniques to look for hosts that are active on different IP address ranges, such as using um, nmap with the sp function. So let's just do that. And now let's look for the active hosts on my network. The second thing that the attacker will do is to look for the different ports or services that are open. Now it can do so using uh, TCP packets that are crafted with bad flags. What is a bad flag? Well, if you're uh, sending a TCP packet with the fin flag, at the beginning of this session, well, something is wrong since the fin flag actually terminates the connection, not establishing it. So let's do that also. Let's use the nmap with the sf flag. Let's just use sudo for that as it needs privileges. And there it is. Now we will look at the different techniques that you can use using your IPS engine to avoid those phases. All right, so let's start. Let's look at the different ways we can avoid those attack phases. The very first thing that we will do is policy in the objects IPv4 denial of service policy. Let's just name our sensor post attack and let's look at the layer 4 anomalies for ICMP sweep which is one of the techniques used by attackers to look for active hosts uh, by sending ICMP packets. Now here just play around with your um, organization requirements. Let's just make mine uh, 50 ICMP packets. That is, um, if the attacker sends more than 50, it will be blocked. Another thing that we can do is using the UDP scan, which is here. Let's just make that 500. Again, the threshold is based on your topology. And we can also look for the SCTP scan, which can be 300. All right. Now, the other thing that we will do is to um, block the TCP port scan. That will not be more than 200. The TCP port scan is used to determine which ports are actually open on your network, on your different hosts. And let's just apply that and let's move to that. All right, so we need the uh, when interface, the source address can be all destination address is our LAN, which is at port two and service is all. All right. Now, the second thing that we will do is to move to our security profile the intrusion prevention now let's create another post attack sensor and here we will use signatures that can determine that uh, someone is trying to scan your network and using uh, bad flags so we will look for tcp bad flags let's just um, add this one and we will also look for ICMP signatures that will tell us that we have an address sweep towards our network. So let's look for the ICMP invalid packet size and the oversized. And let's just add them to the selected. And these three signatures might tell you that you have an anomaly uh, which means that an attacker tries to look for different active hosts on your network and tries to scan the different ports. The last thing is to apply that to your firewall policy.